But whether... this is a, this is a, 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 a an, an impromptu gathering. OK, if I was in Boris Johnson's situation, I'm sure I must be feeling all kinds of stuff. Now, I'm not a psychologist or a body language expert, but to me, there appeared to be a certain arrogance and hostility in Boris Johnson's tone during this inquiry into whether or not he misled Parliament that gave the impression of defence. I accept, I accept that perfect social distancing, uh, Sir Bernard, is not being observed, but that does not mean that what we were doing, in my view, is incompatible with the guidance. Of course he would argue that he is being wrongly accused, but for many it seemed that Johnson's bullish demeanour did not do him any favours. Now, do not for one moment believe that people in number 10 did not operate social distancing, because they did. I believe he wanted to present a sense that this whole inquiry was beneath him and that by going on the attack, it was a way to ensure that he communicated that. All we're asking is to, I'm afraid, it's our obligation. I'm uh, trying to explain to you, no, you why you I said you I'm that the guidance was question. I know that this inquiry has pushed him into a corner and this might sound like a huge assumption, but I believe that what we are seeing here is the true Johnson underneath all his pomp and jesting. I accept that uh, not everybody is uh, perfectly socially distanced in that picture, but that did not mean to me, when I stood up in the House of Commons and said that the guidance was followed completely, I was not thinking of that event and thinking that somehow that contravened the guidance. Absolutely not. Okay. We, were, we were making a huge effort to follow the guidance. That was my memory and that is, that is why I said what I said. Watch more stuff about Johnson and the inquiry by clicking on this link here.